Good afternoon, it is Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 65 plate Volkswagen Caddy 2 litre TDI. Uh, it's a Caddy Maxi, so it's the L2 long wheelbase. Uh, it is a Highline model, and more importantly, which is probably why you're looking, it's the 2 litre TDI DSG automatic. So it's a very, very rare van. There's not many Caddy Maxi autos about on the used marketplace uh, at this kind of price range. Uh, it, the van is in lovely condition. Um, we have sent it into the detailers, so uh, it's now um, been. Uh, it is now gleaming black, as you can see. It has rained here overnight, and the old water is just beading off it nicely, isn't it? Um, so what can I say? Uh, it is a one keeper from new vehicle. Uh, 40, knocking on the door, 47,000 miles from new. Uh, warranted miles from the lease company with a service history. From memory, I think it's Volkswagen service history with it as well. Uh, due a service now, so we will obviously get that done on it before it goes out. Um, and obviously our normal uh, fresh MOT, 110 point PDI check and electronic health check done on it as well. Um, so condition wise as i say really nice tidy condition uh, i've got the back of it open at the moment um just so you can uh, we'll, we'll start off in the back shall we uh, so as you can see headlining's all good plastic bulkhead on this currently got a uh, lockable tool safe in the back of it which is this massive box here uh, i'm not convinced we've got a key for it well i'll have a search around and see what we've got arrived for it if not, we can get it removed so it's out of your way. Um, it is a, quite a large thing. If you don't need it, then obviously it gets in the way, doesn't it? Um, looking at your entry steps, so your plastic steps and your painted sills, they're in nice condition. Just shows you that it's not had lots of heavy stuff in and out of it that is scratching the paintwork. The paintwork in all of your door shuts is nice and clean and tidy. Just walking around to the back of the van. <coughs> give you a better idea so ply lined on both sides arches are boxed off nicely on it it has a, a good hard wearing floor on it um, currently got the, um, the the protective film over the rear windows so um, you can't see through them as you can see obviously if you did need those uncovering then it is just a film that will peel off it so you can see out the back might need to do something about your bulkhead though because this one's got a solid bulkhead on it obviously ply lining on your rear doors inside of your rear doors there's marks on them but it's not by any realms of the imagination a beaten up van in the back at all rear bumpers all good um, i'll be completely honest with you now we have had uh, had a couple of marks on the rear bumper so we've had the rear bumper painted um, it just, you know, on a van like this, you just want it to be uh, nice and unmarked, don't you really? So, rear bumper's been painted, as you can see, or may not be able to see. Uh, reverse parking sensors on the back end of the vehicle. Passenger side rear light unit is all good. Let's start to show you the outside. Let's get some of these doors shut up on it, shall we? So, I'm going to start from the back end of the vehicle. I know it's it's got a, a little bit of rain on it at the moment. Um, we're battling the elements here at the moment, but hopefully you can see that mirror finish that the detail has left it with. There's uh, there's no major dents or dings to point out to you on this van. It is very straight and tidy. Bumper corner on the back passenger side is all good. Your passenger side rear light unit is good. There's obviously your fuel filler flap. Alloy wheels on this one as well. You've got a Continental tyre on the back there. Tyre tread depth looks very good on it to me. Passenger side rear quarter. All good. As you can see, it's like a mirror finish now, isn't it? Passenger side sliding door. Uh, this van does have, at the moment, additional security locks, uh, slam locks fitted on the back end of the van. Uh, if you don't need those on it, we can remove them or disconnect them, I should say. Um, if you do, obviously it gives you additional security. Up here on the roof, again, clean and tidy. 
The owner's obviously fitted a set of nice roof bars going down the sides. Passenger door glass is good. Passenger door, all good. Webbing strip going down the outside of the van is all good. Behind your door handles, clean and tidy. It's not scratched by nails or rings or anything like that. Mirror unit and the mirror itself is good. Got a little bit of the most minor scratches there. We'll get that touched up on it for you. Indicator lens, all good. Alloy wheel driver side, again a continental tyre. Um, tyre tread depth. I'll have to have a look at that one in the workshop, I think, just to double check what that is. Just to let you know that uh, when they go through the workshop, if there's anything less than three millimetres on the tyres, then we'll get those replaced as part of the pre-sale process. And again, just trying to show you down the outside of the vehicle. Nice, clean and tidy, no dents or dinks. Front fog lights. Passenger headlamp unit's all good. And obviously this model is the later Euro 6 facelifted model. Um, so very desirable, you can use it in and out of London without the, um, obviously, avoiding EU layers and these end zone congestion chart, the emissions chart, I should say. Um, grill on the front's all good. Driver's headlamp unit's all good. We have a really minor scratch there on the front bumper. We'll get that touched in for you. I don't think it really requires paint. Bonnet. Yes, it's covered in water. But in actual fact, there's no major stone tripping on it. Driver's wing, all good. Bumper corner. Again, alloy wheel. We're missing a couple of badges in the centre of the alloy wheels on this side. So we'll get those um, ordered up from Volkswagen and just fitted for you. Driver's mirror case and mirror unit itself is all good. Driver's doors all good. Behind the driver's door handle again, no MG marks or scratches. Loading step and sill on the sliding door on this side is all good. Bulkhead from this side is all good. And then driver's sliding door. Again, additional slam lock on the back there. And the driver's side rear quarter. All good. Sliding rails. No MG wheel or tail on those. Continental tyre on the back here. Again, missing centre cap. We'll get that replaced. Tyre, loads of tread depth. And bumper, driver side corner, all good. And headlamp, sorry, rear light unit is all good on it as well. Rear barn doors on the back. We have a ding here on the back door. We'll get our dent man in. He should be able to get that out without any major drama, I'd have thought. And there we go. Show you the cabin quickly. Um, nice clean condition in the cabin. Uh, driver's entry sill and step, plastic steps, all good. Driver's door card, clean and tidy with no undue wear or tear marks. Electric heated mirrors, as you can see, and electric windows here. This vehicle does have automatic headlamps on it as well. Front and rear fog lights are controlled on that switch as well. And there's your headlamp levelers and your dashboard illumination lights. Um, has been run with Volkswagen rubber mats in the front of it, which is quite nice. Shows you the customer's taking some forethought in the caring of the vehicle. Uh, pedal rubbers are good. Driver's seat, um, seat height adjuster here. Uh, seat squabs, all good. You got a little bit of uh, wear or tear on the seat there. We might be able to get that a little bit better to be fair. We'll have a look at that. But on the whole, the seat is clean and tidy. Headlining, all good. You've got additional storage up there, so where our price board's currently hidden. Uh, leather steering wheel, a bit of piano black trim on the steering wheel there. Uh, onboard computer system. Uh, you have, which is controlled by your trip on the stalk on that side. You have cruise control on this side. 
and then obviously your automatic gearbox 12 volt power and usb power behind there as well quick clear heated front windscreen and stop start technology on the vehicle dab stereo radio cd uh, but with also bluetooth telephone and music all important air conditioning as i say it does have a heated front windscreen on it you do have an interior mirror because hidden behind there are your sensors for your auto lights and auto wipers um, 46,971 miles top of the dashboard driver side clean and tidy storage box on top of the dashboard clean and tidy let's just show you things like cup holders and stuff in between your seats are clean and tidy part of the process at the moment is when we're valeting them uh, the final wipe down before you take delivery of the vehicle is with a anti-covid spray don't ask me what's in it um, but apparently it is an anti-covid spray uh, passenger door card on this side clean and tidy sill on this side entry point clean and tidy again Volkswagen rubber mat on the passenger side dashboard on your passenger side again clean and tidy passenger airbag glove box here open your glove box clean and tidy uh, airbag delete switch on there as well if you put kids seat in the front and then passenger seat clean and tidy side airbags as well there we go um so there are going to be 40 to 50 photos loaded up onto our website very shortly just to give you a quick recap it's a 2015 it might be a 16 the advert will say it i'll have clarified it on the advert it's a 65 plate anyway, uh, Volkswagen Caddy, 2 litre TDI, Euro 6, um, DSG automatic, high line model, uh, so the model that everybody wants. It's in black, the colour that everybody wants, uh, spec that everybody wants, it's the condition that everybody wants, uh, 46,000 miles. As I say, we will sell it with a fresh MOT, we will service it, we will do a 110 point PDI check and an electronic health check on it before it goes out. Uh, if you require any further information, we are Vans today, based in Worcester in the centre of the country. You can contact me on 01905 672 080 or email me at sales at vanstoday.com. You've just made it through 12 and a half minutes of the video showing you around the van. Uh, very much appreciate you sticking with us. If there's anything that I can do further to help, feel free to give me a shout. Cheers.